Hello students, welcome to this course on industrial IoT. Today's topic is cyber physical system. Now the contents of the presentations are cyber physical systems, then features of cyber physical systems, and then we'll see some of the applications in the field of uh, industrial IoT uh, that two particularly uh, focusing cyber physical systems. Now, uh, before understanding uh, cyber physical system, first we should know what is industrial automation. Because industrial automation is the one factor which uh, drives uh, the industry and uh, every industry is striving for. And uh, this is the one reason for which uh, the industrial revolutions are happening from industry 1.0 to 2.0 to 3.0 to 4.0. So if you analyze the revolution or evolution of industry 4.0, so this evolution is to uh, remove the human interference uh, in the industrial processes. So industrial automation is uh, uh, minimum or no human interference. And uh, all the processes are autonomous. And uh, this industrial IoT and cyber physical systems, they play a very, very major role in making the process uh, autono autonomous. So it is possible because of the IoT devices and cyber physical systems. So why, what is this cyber physical systems, uh, how it works, uh, that is the uh, topic of contention in today's session. So cyber physical systems, cyber physical systems or smart systems are co-engineered interacting networks of physical and computational components. So cyber physical systems, it is also called as smart systems because uh, cyber physical systems makes the uh, system autonomous and it takes its own decisions. That is why it is called uh, smart systems are co-engineered. Uh, that means uh, they are interacting with each other. They are not only interacting with each other, but they are interacting with the humans as well. So interacting networks of physical and computational components. Okay. So the physical systems are connected to the cyber systems uh, and uh, all the data which is uh, captured by the physical systems are sent to the uh, cyber systems or in, through internet and uh, in the cyber systems or in the cyber uh, servers, uh, the various uh, algorithms processes the data and uh, according to the data processing, the corrective action is taken. So physical systems and cyber systems are connected with each other that is why it is called cyber physical systems these systems will provide the foundation of our critical infrastructure form the basis of emerging and future smart devices smart services and improve our quality life in many areas so cyber physical systems uh, uh, basically uh, makes the industrial processes autonomous and uh, remove the human interference uh, in the industrial processes. Now, if we compare uh, the embedded system with the cyber physical system, because in industry 3.0, where there were automation, there were use of computers, use of microcontrollers, microprocessors. So a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, development took place in the field of embedded systems. But how the embedded system is different from cyber physical systems? Uh, how industry 3.0 is different than industry 4.0 that is uh, there in this slide so we'll compare the embedded systems with the cyber physical systems embedded system device having information processing systems embedded into them so whatever uh, the sensor senses the data that sensor processes the processes the data in the microcontroller itself whereas in cyber physical systems the entire data is transferred to the uh, transfer to the cyber processing uh, through internet. That is the first difference. Uh, embedded system typically confined to a single device. Uh, it senses the data, a single sensor senses the data and uh, the processing is happening uh, in the controller itself. Whereas uh, in cyber phys physical systems, there are n number of sensors simultaneously uh, picking up a data and those simultaneous data is transferred to the uh, cyber uh, servers 
cloud servers and there the data is processing that is second difference third difference is limited resources for performing limited number of tasks so number of tasks performed by the embedded system is very very less whereas in cyber physical systems uh, there are n number of processes uh, can be handled at a, at a single time next in embedded system main issues are real time response and reliability so reliability is uh, one issue with the embedded system whereas in cyber physical system the issues are the response timing and concurrency since there are a uh, lot of processes are simultaneously been monitored and controlled by the cyber systems so that concurrency is uh, one issue uh, with the cps now if you see the architecture of cyber physical systems so uh, there are two systems physical systems uh, and cyber systems physical systems uh, uh, includes the physical processes or the machines in the industry uh, then it includes the sensors which are installed on the machines for sensing the physical quantity then the sensor senses the data and it uh, through uh, communication devices communication technology it is sent to uh, the cyber systems uh, and uh, in the cyber system or in the uh, cloud computing uh, the data is processed and again through communication devices it is given to the actuators and actuators perform the necessary corrective actions uh, on the physical systems physical processes so this is how the architecture of cyber physical systems works now feature of cps so first feature is reactive computing so reactive computing means always uh, cyber physical systems uh, takes the data from the sensors and uh, processes it in and Uh, give it to the actuators that means the corrective actions are continuously happening in the cps that is why it is called reactive computation concurrency like multiple processes not only a single process but cyber physical systems concurrently maintains the number of processes in the industry and that is why uh, one of the feature of cps is concurrency the processes exchange information to achieve the desired results synchronous and asynchronous mode of operations the next feature is feedback control yes whenever you are sensing a data and uh, on the basis of input data we are taking some output corrective actions so that is called uh, a feedback loop and uh, all the processes uh, in the cps are basically uh, feedback control that means uh, on the basis of input data Uh, the cyber physical systems takes the corrective action that is why it is called feedback control system real time computation yes uh, whatever uh, the processes happening in the cyber physical systems are real systems like uh, for example if you are driving a driverless car uh, if you are seeing a driverless car that means uh, the the car is driving at a real time so the processes in the industry are controlled and managed in real time so real time computation is another strong feature of uh, cyber physical system now we'll see some of the applications of cyber physical systems so cyber physical systems uh, plays a very important role whenever there is uh, automation or autonomous processes and one of the uh, application is in the field of medical field uh, you will see a lot of uh, image guided surgery and therapies are happening in the medical field and all these are possible because of uh, because of the cyber physical systems the robotic surgery the uh, the doctor or expert is sitting at remo- remote place and and he or she is carrying out the operation at uh, some other place so this this entire uh, this entire uh, surgery uh, re- robotic surgery or image guided surgery is possible because of the cyber physical system then next application in is, is in transportation so cyber physical systems maintains uh, the real time monitoring of traffic infrastructures uh, 
uh, it maintains the vehicle infrastructure coordinated transportation for example uh, it gives the instructions about uh, the conjunction of the traffic uh, on a particular road or the signal positioning on a particular road uh, it uh, guides navigates the vehicle uh, from a particular path then uh, it is also helpful in vehicle based transportation uh, cps like uh, uh, it monitors the various parameters of the automobile so that the safety of the automobile can be ensured and uh, maintenance or condition monitoring of various components automobile components are monitored in energy sector also uh, the cps is playing very important role uh, in terms of smart meters uh, demand management with distributed generation so uh, on the basis of demand and supply the generation can be adjusted automated distribution with intelligent substation so depending upon the load uh, which is required in particular area so the intelligent substation takes the decision wide area control of the smart grids is uh, uh, area controlled by uh, one grid uh, it can be enlarged can be expanded uh, because of the optimum utilization then application in the industry so industry uh, manufacturing systems and logistics logistics integrated with communication abilities sensors and actuators and smart controls optimal resource utilization smart condition monitoring and maintenance yes uh, every equipment in the uh, industry uh, uh, they are monitored their, their health is monitored continuously so that there is no unplanned breakdown uh, and there is no production loss or because of uh, that uh, the product cost cannot be uh, increased so these are some of the applications of cyber physical systems so i hope that uh, you have got uh, some idea about the cyber physical systems we'll see this cyber physical systems in more details if you have any query about the cyber physical systems you can put your query in the chat box i will definitely uh, answer it so thank you very much